Hi guys, I'm very excited today. As you can tell, today I received my One UI download on the S9 and this thing is so hot. Thanks Verizon for sending me over the phone so I could play with this. Let's show you 13 different settings that you need to know about when you get your One UI. Let's go for it. Right, let's go down into settings. Pull that down from the top, click the little gear icon, and we're gonna choose device care. Let's press that. Basically, this just does a little maintenance of your device. You press the button and it just gets rid of things like background applications, things that use memory, things that are running that shouldn't be running, etc. But what you can also do is click the little button at the top and click on auto optimization. And you can set a time. You can say, look, I'm not gonna be using my device, I don't know, at four in the morning. At that time, run this auto optimization so I don't have to. And one more step. If you go back into the settings, this time choose auto restart and then switch that on. Now your device will automatically restart at the time that you set. The phone will only restart if the screen is off, if the phone isn't being used, if the battery is above 30% and the SIM card lock is off. You can also schedule specific days and specific time and it's a pretty good thing to do every once in a while. So highly recommend it. Right, let's talk a bit about security. Go into your settings. This time you're gonna go down till you see lock screen, press on that. And in the screen, we're gonna go to secure lock settings. Now this is obviously where you set your pattern. Now you've done this before on the previous model, but look at this. Now you have a choice to make the pattern invisible. So I'm gonna make it set it to off. Now when I go back into the settings and I have to put in my pattern again, watch. It's invisible and no one can shoulder surf your password. Shoulder surf, right? Okay, back into auto factory reset. If you enable that, remember that after 15 incorrect attempts, your phone is going to be reset to factory default. So if somebody steals your phone, well, that's what's gonna happen after they try. Lock network and security, please enable that. What that means, that your Wi-Fi and your mobile data cannot be disabled unless someone's managed to unlock your phone. Making your phone recoverable in case it does get lost with things like find my phone apps right it's an additional feature when you press the power button you typically have three options power off restart and emergency mode but in the samsung one ui you do have another option go into settings and you're going to scroll down until you see the lock screen and choose secure lock settings put it in your pattern or your pin and this time I'm going to go to the bottom and we're going to say show lockdown option and we're going to put it on on. Now, why do we do this? We do this because when you have the show lockdown option, no notification, no biometrics unlocked, it turns all that stuff off. So it basically puts you into a very secure environment to unlock your screen only with your pattern or your pin. Now at the bottom, you've got your navigation bar and of course you've got your home screen and you've got your recently used app. Now a little bit of upgrades have been done here. It feels a lot smoother. Now go into your recently used app and then obviously you know this hack, you double tap and it's gonna cycle between the last two apps that you had open. So this was my website and of course my YouTube channel. Now a new thing on this UI is that you hold the icon at the top and it's gonna give you a whole bunch of options. Now, this makes it really easy to do things like open a window in a pop-up screen. So you know that Samsung has that facility and it's really useful with things like calendars. You can move them around the screen or your web browser, but it gets more. So open up your recently used apps, press the little icon and then open up in a split window. Then open up another application in the second window. So look how easy that was. It's a lot easier to kind of navigate than the previous way of doing it. And it's nice to be able to watch two things at the same time. The nice new navigation, but there's even more. Go into your settings and scroll down until you see display. And now scroll down until you're gonna see navigation bar. Somewhere down there, there we go. Navigation bar, press on that. Now look, there's a couple of options. So here, instead of having the buttons, now you've got gestures. And let me show you how that works. So let's just say we've got a website, we're going into a particular article. We wanna go one step back. You simply swipe up on the right. Now, you want to go to the home screen. Remember, the home screen is the middle. Swipe up from the middle. And recently used apps on the right-hand side. 
A really big deal has been made about this next feature and that is night mode. I've never really gotten it, but I must say on the open UI, it is really, really usable. So night mode basically turns everything into dark mode or black, and it is including the pull down menus, but it also includes the setting screen as well. So I'm gonna just show you that. You can see like this is white, now it's night mode, and then you go into your settings and there it is, okay. Uh, yeah, kind of useful, some people really dig it. Um, a little bit meh about it. So there's more and more to explore in the One UI. I'll bring you more videos about that as soon as I unpack stuff that's worth discussing. Check out some of these other tips and tricks in the cards up here for the Note 9, the S9, camera tips, a whole bunch of things. So make sure you check that out. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Hit the head below if you're new here and if you're into tech, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how-tos. We do it all on this channel. And check out some of these other cool videos and I'll see you on the next episode because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now.